Did you know that there's a Minecraft mod that allows you to basically create kind of cinematic style shots in Minecraft? Well, I'm guessing because you found this video, you do know that. And it is called the Replay Mod. And the Replay Mod records what's going on in game and allows you to watch it back later. And then you can also go in and like create time mapping and keyframing to move your camera around your player and create basically cinematic style experiences in Minecraft. It's really, really cool. Not only is it helpful if there's like any worry of cheating or something in PvP. It's gonna be a good way to keep proof of that, but it's also a good way if you just want to create really cool Minecraft content. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to download Replay Mod and install it as well as export videos and things like that because there is some nuance that is not usually included in other tutorials like this. But as you probably know, we do the most in-depth tutorials possible. So whenever we finish this, you will have what's called FFmpeg, which is required to actually export videos from Replay Mod installed. So nonetheless, let's jump right on into it. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is the in-depth download text tutorial for getting a replay mod. We're going to go over everything in this video though. So just go ahead and click on the yellow download replay mod button. They'll take you to Replay Mod's official download page where you want to scroll down and make sure that you're downloading the 1.19.4 version. As you can see, Minecraft 1.19.4 there. Come over and click the download button. When you click on that, the download will begin in the bottom left of Chrome. You may have to save or keep the file depending on your browser. It really does just depend on what browser you're using. And it is 100% safe to do that. As you can see, this file alone has gotten over 40,000 downloads, but uh, you know, a lot of them have gotten a lot of downloads thousands upon thousands so you're completely safe to download replay mod we're also going to need the fabric api of course there's a link in the description down below for this and everything else i'm going to mention in this video click on the download fabric api here it's going to take you to curse forge and then once we're on curse forge we want to go ahead and click on the files button here we then want to find the 1.19.4 version right here it is and we want to come and click the three dots on the right hand side and click download file That'll then begin the download after a few seconds and the replay mod will be downloaded. As you can see, there it is, or not replay mod, excuse me, the Fabric API will be downloaded. Now we can go ahead and download Fabric itself. Fabric is the mod loader that allows the replay mod to actually work in Minecraft. So in the description down below, you'll find this. This is our in-depth text guide to getting Fabric and it has how to troubleshoot and fix some different issues with Fabric if you do have those. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on download Fabric here. That'll take us to Fabric's official download page where once we're here we want to go ahead and click on download universal jar here when you click on the download universal jar link fabric will begin downloading after a few seconds you may need to again keep or save the file depending on your browser however before we go and get replay mod installed we do have our sponsor apex minecraft hosting go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown dead xyz slash apex to start your very own 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server Apex truly is an amazing way to host a server with 24 hours, seven day a week support and over 100 mod packs with one click installation. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now let's, let's go ahead and with Fabric downloaded, we can minimize our browser. Now I'm going to move all of these files we downloaded to our desktop just because it's easier to manage them. Right now they're in my downloads folder. To find that, click the Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Open this up and in here you'll have fabric, fabric API, and the replay mod. Again, we're moving these to our desktop just for ease of use. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and close out of the downloads folder and we're going to be starting off by installing fabric. Not the fabric API, the fabric installer. So let's go ahead and right click on this, click on open with, click Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java or if your icons don't look like mine, you need Java 17. Java 17 is required in order to install the replay mod as well as any other Minecraft mods you want, not to mention it's even needed to run Minecraft servers. On top of all of that, you may need to run the jar fix and by the way, both of these are in the description down below. And this is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. However, don't run the jar fix until you've got Java. So get Java, then run the jar fix, and you're good to go. Now we can minimize our browser and install Fabric. So to do this, right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That'll open up the Fabric installer. Well, all we need to do when we're in here is make sure that 1.19.4 is selected and click install. It's gonna install Fabric, get everything ready to go, and then it's gonna say successfully installed. Click on OK and close out of the Fabric installer. You can also delete it from your desktop. Now we can install the replay mod. To do this, you wanna open up the Minecraft launcher, and then from the Minecraft launcher, 
we need to navigate to the installations tab. I'll show you what I mean once my Minecraft launcher is open, so let's just wait for that. So here we are in the Minecraft launcher, and we can go ahead and make sure that the fabric loader is selected. It's not required at this step quite yet, but it will be later. If it's not, click on it here and then click on fabric loader. Now, if you don't have fabric loader here, click on installations at the top, like I just mentioned there before the launcher was open. And then what we want to do is make sure that modded is selected under versions. You can see if it's not, it doesn't show fabric, so we want to make sure it is. Now, if you do have fabric loader here, awesome. Skip forward a little bit in the tutorial. Just hit the arrow key forward uh, probably twice, two or three times there. And, uh, but if not, let's go ahead and click new installation. Now we're going to name this our replay mod installation. And the most important part here is clicking the version dropdown and selecting release fabric loader and then making sure 1.19.4 is at the end of it, which as you can see, it is release fabric loader 1.19.4. And there you go. That's the most important part. I'm going to make sure that we change our resolution. I'm just doing that so we can see once we get better in game, but it can help with the replay mod and recording. You might want to change that to 1920 by 1080 and then click create there. Now we've got this created. We've got our replay mod profile. We've also got our fabric loader loader and hello anyone who uh, was you know didn't need to create an installation welcome back let's go ahead and get the replay mod installed to do this from the installations tab hover over your fabric loader then click on the folder icon that appears that's going to open up your minecraft folder now all you've got to do is open up your mods folder and by the way if you don't have a mods folder just simply create one just right click create a new folder entitle it mods mods all lowercase exactly like that open up your mods folder and drag and drop Fabric API and replay mod into it, right like so. There we go. Those are now installed. We're good to go. We can close out of this and launch up Minecraft either using the fabric loader, click play, click play again, or the installation you created. It does not matter which one. Now Minecraft's going to open and replay will be installed. Now we will still need to install the FFmpeg, you know, add on if you will. But before we do that, let's just make sure replay mod works, that we're in game, it can record, all of that stuff. All FFmpeg allows you to do is export recordings from the replay mod. So we'll see it once we get in game. So here we are in game. Now the biggest addition that replay mod adds to the main menu is this replay viewer here. So all of your replays will be here once they are created and they're created automatically when you launch to a single player world or get on a server. Now I'm going to show you how to stop them and start them when you want to, but by default, when you start into a world, the recording will begin. So as you can see in the top left, it says recording. Now, if you don't want to be recording, you can hit escape and you can obviously pause and stop the recording from here. So we can go ahead and stop. We can start one again and all that stuff. And you can just move around your world it's recording and again this does work on servers as well so keep that in mind but as you can see we are running around just you know kind of doing our own thing here as you can see just run 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 running around all that stuff and then eventually we will get to um where we can close out of this that's not the right word we can stop this recording and uh go view it so there we go let's go ahead and hit escape and by the way when you save and quit the recording stops all right so the recording stops either when you stop it like so or join a game you can change the file names here but we can click done and go into the replay viewer and here are the recordings the 23 second one is the big one so we go ahead and load this you can see here it is. And like I said, you can move around and see what is going on as well as set different keyframes and all that stuff. Now, I'll be honest, I've never been good with actually using the replay mod and like actually using it to make video in game and using the keyframes and all that stuff. If you want information on that, well then guess what? In the description down below, we have a link to this. This is the replay mod documentation. So come here if you want to, you know, get the full in depth look at how to use the replay mod and the keyframing. Those are a really good video that they have here as well. So nevertheless, check that out. But how do we get the FF impact? Well, first let's create a video. In order to do that, we would need to go ahead and add in some keyframe positions. Uh, we'll do keyframe in time there, and then we'll jump forward um, and, and do keyframe in time here. Sure. Let's make it a shorter video. Boom, boom. Now, I believe we can just go ahead and save these. Now, this isn't going to work if we click add to queue and render. It's just not going to. As you can see, you need FFmpeg. So how exactly do we get this? Well, in the description down below, we have a link that will take you to the documentation here, right? So this is the documentation. So once you're here, scroll down and then click on installing FFmpeg. So it will take you here. Now, what we then want to do is come under Windows and click on this link. Download the latest release of Epic Impact from this. Click on that, and the download will then begin after a few seconds. Uh, I say after a few seconds, it should just download, right? 
like so. There we go. And then it's going to save. Now this is going to go into your downloads folder. So let's go ahead and minimize our browser here. I'm actually going to close out of Minecraft as well. And then let's go ahead and move FFmpeg to our desktop from our downloads folder. We've already done this in the video, so no reason to go in depth with it again, but that's what we want to do. Wait for it. There we go. Now we can move this to our desktop. Now, what we want to do once this is on our desktop is close out of the downloads folder and reopen up the Minecraft launcher, right? Like so. So as you can see, opening up the Minecraft launcher. And then once the Minecraft launcher is open, we want to actually navigate back to our Minecraft folder. We were there earlier. We want to navigate back. So once the Minecraft launcher is open here, we can then go ahead and click on installations at the top and then hover over our fabric installation and click the folder. That opens up our Minecraft folder. Now drag and drop FFmpeg into this folder. Now you're not done yet. Once it's in here, you want to find it and then right click and click extract all. Then click extract. It's then going to extract that zip folder right like so and boom, you're done. Now we can go ahead and open up our replay mod and we'll be able to export a video. So let's go ahead and do that. So kind of a cool feature. It does say that the replay was not saved correctly because I just closed out of it and that we could try to recover it. Um, I did that. So let's go ahead and open this up here. This is the same one we were just in. And uh, yeah, we've got our keyframes here, all of that stuff. Let's just go ahead and uh, try to save this video by clicking render here. And then go ahead and just click uh, or save, excuse me, by clicking uh, save here, right like so and then click render all. Now this time, it's not gonna fail. It's gonna go ahead and as you can see, start rendering. Now we can actually see this happen in real time. Uh, I'm frozen over there, nothing too crazy about that, but you can see that the camera is moving, showing in fact that it is rendering. Go ahead and let this finish, and then once it's finished, I'll show you where to find the video, and then we'll be all done. So here we are, the video is now rendered. We can click open video folder, and that will take us here where, of course, there is the video. We can double click on it, it will play, all of that stuff and i think it's just gonna this is gonna be kind of funny actually it'll probably move yeah directly through the tree you gotta love that but nevertheless uh you can create a much better video than i have but where is this folder well it's actually in that dot minecraft folder this is where we made and added ffmpeg as you can see right there it is it's also where we added our mods to so there's the mods folder but we have this now replay videos and that's where all of your renderings or renderings excuse me where all of your videos that you create using the uh, replay mod will be saved. So there it is. There's the complete guide and look at the replay mod, getting it set up, getting, you know, FFmpeg set up, getting your first video exported, and then where to find the video. So go create all the awesome content that you can. And uh, honestly, I would love to see it. Feel free to uh, co share it on the Discord in the description down below. But nonetheless, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.